And just one week after the deadly mass shooting at a Sutherland Springs church, hundreds showed up to worship together in a new location this morning. Last Sunday morning, a gunman opened fire 20 minutes into the service at the First Baptist Church, killing 26 adults and children. The shooter ended up taking his own life about 10 miles from the church after two civilians chased him. The crowds today gathered under a tent on a baseball field, a makeshift church to accommodate the large crowd. Our Arzo Dost is there with a look at today's service. Arzo. Well, Aaron, we are in front of the church now. Just a few minutes ago, we walked into the sanctuary, which has been turned into a memorial. And I want to show you the line of people from the surrounding communities that are waiting. They want to go in, inside and pay their respects, pray for the victims, and also pray for this small town. Now, all chairs, pews, and equipment have been removed. Volunteers helped restore the church sanctuary after last Sunday's mass shooting here. 26 empty chairs have been placed for all the lives lost inside. The chairs, I'm told, are where each person was found on that day. The church says it's hoping this will be healing for those impacted. Now, earlier, about 700 people gathered for a first Sunday service since the shooting. It was supposed to be at the community center next to the church, but was moved to a nearby baseball field inside a tent after organizers say they found out that hundreds of people would be here. The church's pastor, Frank Pomeroy, led the emotional sermon this morning. His 14-year-old daughter was among the victims. He said, rather than choose darkness, we choose life. Even though there is pain and there is sorrow, again, like you saw here today, through those tears, there's joy because those people whose loved ones have died are not lost. They're not lost. They're waiting. They're okay. And if, and I know, I so know that they're they're watching from heaven and seeing people unite and come together and and hold one another. Arriving here. Now, Republican Senator John Cornyn also spoke at the service this morning. He's hoping as early as tomorrow to introduce legislation, which he says needs to fix a broken background check system. My hope is that we can uh, expedite consideration of this, get it into law, and to make sure that this sort of thing never happens again. Now back here at the memorial, it will be open for anyone to stop by and pray starting tomorrow. Right now it is going to be open for a little bit for the people who are waiting in line and wanting to go inside and pay their respects. Now also there are plans underway to get services started here as soon as possible. I will go into the details coming up tonight at 9 and 10.